Good morning, everyone, and welcome to What's New Wednesday at Kimberbell. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you? If you are here, chime on in and tell me, who are you? Where are you from? What are you doing today? What did you have for breakfast? All of it. We want to hear from you. Good morning, Sabrina. Nice to see you. First thing, bright and early, right? Well, depending on your neck of the woods, I guess. Hi, Susan and Deb from Delaware. Joanne <clears throat> and Roxana from Warm Vegas. That sounds nice right now. Yeah, Joanne, thank you. She says that she hopes I'm feeling better. I have been under the weather, as uh, they like to say, and uh, I am. I am feeling better. I just don't sound very good, but I promise I am feeling better. Good morning, Teresa and Tammy Lynette from Springville, and Teresa and Shirley from Lockport, Illinois. It's always good to see you. Bonnie from Brigham City, and Rose from Grand Rapids, Minnesota. Good morning, Marcia and Julie. Carrie from Ohio, and Renee from Michigan, Hattie from Texas, and the list goes on. So welcome to What's New Wednesday. Um, I want to first say thank you for all the birthday wishes that you sent my way um, this last week. I did have a birthday on Monday, and I share that with another gal out there because we are twins. We are the original womb mates, we like to say. And so I know many of you know Chris, and you wished us both a happy birthday. So thank you so much for that. Um, yes, I was sick during that time. And so that kind of put a little damper on any kind of festivities. But you know what? Oh, well, right? Life goes on. And I'm feeling a whole lot better now. And so here's to the 49er club. Any 49ers out there? Um, I'm right there with you now. So 49 next year. What will we do? The big 5-0? I just don't know. We'll have to see. So thank you for all those birthday wishes. I really, really appreciate it. Um, this last week, <clears throat> last Tuesday, for What's New Wednesday was a little bit different. As you know, um, we actually did a reveal. Well, the Me Time group did a reveal of the new Bella Box. And uh, if you watched that last week, you'll know that the new theme is French Market. Ooh la la, right? Ooh la la, French Market. It is beautiful. I told you it was going to be a beautiful box. Yeah, it certainly is. And if you have not seen that yet, um, the reveal, of course, you can still watch it. It's on Facebook and YouTube, our YouTube channel. And uh, you can always still watch those past episodes. Um, but you can also find it at metimedelivered.com. And we show you everything that's in there. So take a look, see if it's for you. Um, but when you uh, subscribe to the Bella Box through metimedelivered.com, um, you will now be on a list to always get the new Bella Box and not have to hurry and scramble to get the get it before it sells out. You will now be a subscriber of the Bella Box, which is pretty cool. So we listened and uh, we hope that you find that that is a, a great benefit. And if it's not for you after you see the reveal, then you can simply skip it um, or cancel anytime. So anyway, lots of good stuff coming through metimedelivered.com. This is a new brand. Um, and so you won't hear a whole lot of chatter um, about it over on the Kimberbell side of things, the Kimberbell Facebook and stuff, because... There's a brand new uh, Facebook page and YouTube channel and all the things that are me time delivered. So check it out. Me time. Me, of course, standing for machine embroidery time. Delivered.com. Check it out. And uh, you'll see a whole lot of stuff on the me time uh, webs, uh, well, website, Me Time Delivered. You'll also see it on the Me Time Facebook page. And we have also a private group called the Me Time Community. Check that out as well, because that's where lots of chatter and excitement um, are going on these days for the new, um, new brand and for 
in particular, the new Bella box. So check it out. All right. What else have uh, we been up to? Well, I guess I should say, what have you been up to? Um, today's episode of What's New Wednesday is going to focus a lot more on um, some things that you guys have been up to. So the first thing I want to go over is um, what I like to call So and Tell It, Kimberbell, because I like to show you off, right? Let's show off what you guys have been working on. So impressed, um, so inspired. I know you love it. Love to see these things as well. So let's take a look. Um, let's start off with, oh, there's a lot, a lot going on in the Kimberbell world right now with you guys. Um, okay, of course, it's graduation season, right? Tis the season in May for graduation, Mother's Day. Father's Day around the corner, um, Teacher Appreciation Day, and you guys are here for it. You're ready to make really cute stuff and give it to the to some special people in your life. So, one of the things I've been been seeing pop up on the Kimber Bellas and Fellas page are the heartfelt gift pockets. Kathy made this for the graduate. Kathy, I love how you put quarters <clears throat> in there. She says that she's finding that the Kimberbell patterns make the learning curve so much easier. The learning curve of learning her new embroidery machine. Yay! She loves this pattern and cannot wait to gift it. Okay, tis the season for all of our graduates out there. I had, you guys, I know, I know I look like I'm 20, right? Just, just tell me that. Um, but my daughter, my oldest daughter, just graduated from Utah State University, as well as her husband this last week. And so, yeah, graduation season is in full swing. And what a cute gift this is, Kathy, um, that you'll be able to give to your graduate. You can personalize it, of course, with the school colors. You name it. I love it. All right. Speaking of mug rugs, Jamie did this for Teacher Appreciation Week. She says it's next week. Uh, she says, thank you for the fabulous projects we can customize for our special teachers. She made, let's see, she has she has 10 to make because she doesn't want to leave out the assistants, the office, and the librarian. Jamie, you are a gem. I think that is awesome to remember all of those people that make, you know, the school year so special um, for our kids. And so I love that she's using all kinds of mug rugs um, to gift for that. All right, Kathy is also doing this for teacher gifts. This comes from uh, Mug Rugs Volume 5, and it says, thanks for helping me grow. So, Kathy, you've been super busy, haven't you? And I love all the fabrics you've chosen. Um, they're, your teachers there are going to love them. Now, Vaughn, this was a great idea. She took a design from Kimber Bell's Citrus and Sunshine collection. I know a lot of you have that collection. So use this idea from Vaughn. She took the You're the Zest uh, design, again, from Citrus and Sunshine, and then she used that on the mug rug, and then she gifted gifted it um, with that, uh, let's see, it's an orange, it says Orange You Amazing, oh, that's cute, an orange so soap bottle, uh, again, for Teacher Appreciation Week, she made 30 of them, you go, Vaughn, you go, I love that, so fun, okay, teachers, graduation, camping is right around the corner, I know a lot of you love to camp, and this is a fun one that also came from Mug Rugs Volume 5. Linda says she made her first Kimberbell Mug Rug today. It was so fun. She's going to make more tomorrow. Now, <laughs> I, I got a chuckle out of this. She says, now I know why I like to buy kits. It took me several hours to decide on the fabrics and get everything cut out for tomorrow. Linda. You did a great job on that fabric selection. It just couldn't be any cuter. So thank you for sharing that. And I can't wait to see more of them that you're going to make. Okay, we're keeping with the mug rug theme, guys. We got you. Mug rugs volume five is in stores now. They would love to provide that for you. This one is from Carol. She says she was stash busting. So she used her own colors to give it her own look. Um, 
life is so good. So good, right? Thank you, Carol, for sharing that. that. And the fabrics are gorgeous. No doubt about that. And then one more mug rug to share with you. Mary Beth made this and she gave them to her kids on Mother's Day. That's a clever idea. Why not, right? Remember your roots. Again, Mug Rugs Volume 5. Check it out. It is on or it is at shops now. And if you don't have a quilt shop near you, there are so many of them sell online as well. So check them out. It's all part of Mug Rugs Volume 5 that you saw there. Okay, here's an oldie but goodie. And I loved that she made five of them for gifts. Sherry says, a friend asked me to make five of them. It's a pretty design. Family is forever. Oh my gosh, I I remember putting that together and it is a beautiful design, isn't it? That comes from, oh boy, someone, someone help me out here. This comes from the Happy Home, I believe, um, a Kimberbell set of designs, the Happy Home. And I just think, oh, what a sweet little wall hanging that is. So thank you for sharing that, Sherry. This one was fun to see this uh kim she says she finally made something for all my pins <laughs> she says she only lost one. Oh darn it kim I i'm sure someone can help you out with that that lost one but it looks like she's been to a lot of kimberbell events right kim and so um what a great way to display those and then it looks like she took the mannequin design from um the happy home collection as well that is out there um, from that collection. So great way to reuse Kimberbell designs. Absolutely, darling. And what a fun way to display all the pins that you've received at your Kimberbell events. All right, well, we have to highlight spring showers, right, you guys? Rhonda says she's finished. She absolutely loved it. She thanks us for creating beautiful and fun projects. And Rhonda, it is our pleasure to do that because when we see things like this out there um, what, that you guys are making and finishing and hanging up in your homes brings a lot of joy and satisfaction to all of us at Kimberbell. Diana did as well. She says, happy dance. Woo, woo, woo. I'm right there with you, Diana. Happy dance is right. And look how perfect how cute that turned out in every single way she added some of her own uh flair to the blocks i can see and in one of the blocks there's an extra rainbow and i love that i love how you guys create these things to to make it your own as well great great idea diana and mitzi i loved what she said she says it's finally done omg i'm so happy i learned a lot and it was so much fun happiest wall quilt ever now what's going to be my next project hmm mitzi i'd love to know post it when you're when you're ready with it um great great project I know a lot of you are working on these right now, finishing them up, and that just makes me so, so happy. Now, here's a few other ideas that came from spring showers. So you're not only making the quilt itself, but you're also you know, coming up with your own spin for how you can use the blocks in different ways. This makes me so happy. Let's take a look. Uh, Candace said some spring showers are definitely needed in Minnesota. It's been so gloomy and cold, so she had to create her own sunshine. I love that, Candace. Thank you for sharing that. And how beautiful is that in the blues and purples and greens? Really, really gorgeous. Thank you for sharing. This caught a lot of people's eyes out there. Um, there were a lot of comments on this from Janie. She says, here are some designs from Spring Showers that she did on a screen. Yes, folks, that is a screen. How cute is that? So clever, Jane, uh, Janie. Really, really spectacular idea um so these the she said i i noticed in the comments she said that the frame she got at a hobby store 
uh, craft store and it already had the screen in it. And then she used like a wash away um, stabilizer behind it to place the screen on and then she put it back together. So great idea. Here's another one from Janie as well. She took the screen picture from again, spring flowers. You guys know the block, right? It's the cute, one of the cutest blocks on there. And she took it and put like um, the 3D the 3D wings of the bean, bees on there, the 3D felt, felt flowers, and then the cute little frog that came from a different block on screen sh spring showers, and put it in this frame again with a screen. And Janie, you inspired people out there because look at this one. Jamie says she was she saw the idea from. Janie, Jamie and Janie. <laughs> there we go. And she's loving spring showers. Thank you, Janie. She did the same thing. She's, she was inspired. So she went out and got herself um, a, some screening. And oh, it's just so stinking cute. Like I like to say, darling ideas, guys. Thank you. And then finally, uh, Lori, you crack me up. I think you have more Kimberbell projects um, in that one picture than I have in my whole house right now. All of my stuff is out is out at shops or at the office, but I was thoroughly impressed. She says April was Kimberbell month for her. <laughs> she worked on um, cleaning up her backlog of Bella Box projects. Uh, she says she didn't complete everything. She has a few more fairy pillows to to finish and. 26 tea towels wow lori impressive but oh my gosh as i'm i'm looking through that picture i'm like oh yep there oh yep there's that event oh there there's that event oh there's that bell box oh there's that cd and what a fun collection of things lori it looks like you've been having a lot of fun so thank you lori and everyone for sharing those things um it just it just makes us happy makes us happy, makes us all happy, right? Because we love sharing in each other's creativity and being inspired by it too. <clears throat> so thank you. Um, you can post more pictures. I love them all. It's hard to choose each week, just pulling randomly some, some ones that have popped up because they're all so great. I want to share them all, but you can see them all if you join the Kimber Bellas and Fellas private Facebook page. This is different than the page that you're on right now on Facebook. Where you're at right now is probably the main Kimberbell Facebook page or our YouTube channel. But I also want you to join the private group of Kimberbellas and fellas. And there you can see all kinds of things that uh, people just like you and me are working on every day and be inspired by it. So check it out. All right. So let's go ahead and see what's new at, on the Kimberbell website, shall we? I'm going to share my screen. There's <clears throat> A couple of new things um, in the vault that you may have seen. The vault is, of course, the oldies but goodies. They're things that are no longer sold through shops because they're older product, uh, years old in many cases. Um, but we know a lot of people are still new to Kimberbell and just finding out about us. So we offer those things in the vault. And so each, uh, you know, week or month, you'll see new things continually being added. So I'm going to show you what's new there, as well as a new background quilting design that's going to blow your mind. Are you ready? Let's check it out. Um, I'm going to share this screen here. And here we go. All right, uh, maybe not. Let's see, no, that's not what I wanted to share. Let's try it again. Um, your screen. We might get it, we might not today, guys. <sighs> well, all right, we're not gonna be able to see it today, darn it. Okay, what I want you to do is there's two things in the vault. When you go to the Kimberbell.com website, go to products at the top, and then you're going to click on the vault, and there you're gonna see two new products that are just so fun, such a favorite of people for many, many years. 
um, but now it's available as a download. So the first one um, are these candle mats. Oh my gosh, Has, have any of you guys made the Kimberbell candle mats? There's a really cute one you gotta see over there that has watermelon all around the outside edge or a cupcake for birthdays. There's, oh my gosh, all kinds of ones. I think there's like six different designs. It's all in one download. You It comes in multiple sizes. Check it out, it's the candle mats. Um, of course, the candle mats are really cute for things beyond candles. They make a really cute plant mat as well. So try that, try that out. Um, and the other one is called Fun with Fringe. And that's another really fun, very unique technique that you can do on your embroidery machine. And it all has like jars of seasonal flowers in it. So check it out. It's at the vault. And then the second thing I wanted to show you, and again, darn it, my second screen for whatever reason isn't working today. But check out the brand new background quilting design. Um, let's just say it'll have you thinking Father's Day, all right? Um, or, you know, any time of the year. It is has a whole bunch of tools on there. And so you can, like, have hammers and uh, saws and screwdrivers and nuts and bolts. Oh, my gosh. Really, really cute stuff. Monica saying she wants candle mats volume two, please. Monica, that's a that's a good idea. You never know, right? I'm gonna let our uh, product development team know that you may be interested in that, and let us know if Lynn says the same thing. She says she would love to see more and new candle mats. Well. Guys, you know what? You can ask and ask and ask away. And a lot of times, well, 99% of the time, what you are asking for, we usually try to deliver as much as we can. So you never know. Um, check that out over at the vault. All right. Okay. So, well, that's not working. Let's move on to, to something else, shall we? Let's talk about what I want to focus on today, and that is clear blue tiles. Clear blue tiles. Okay, how many of you guys have clear blue tiles already? And how many of you are thinking, hmm, I've never heard of it? Or how many of you are thinking, I have it, but I haven't tried it yet? Well, today's your day, folks. I want you to give it a try. There is the essential set. There is the expansion set. I want to share with you a little bit about these, why you would want them, and also share what you guys have been saying about them as well. Um, yeah, looks like in the comments, a lot of you have them and love them. Yeah, if you have them and love them, well, just, you know, tell us about your experience with them. Has it been a good thing? Have you been able to get your projects to the finish line using clear blue tiles. Um, if you're thinking, okay, what are you talking about, Kim? Think about this. How many of us have lots of unfinished projects? We took the time to piece a quilt or a wall hanging or a pillow or whatever it was. We pieced it, we applicated it, we did something with it, right? And then it sits there. And we are thinking, okay, now I just need to get it quilted. But either you don't know a long armor to take it to, or maybe you don't have the time to have it taken to a long armor, or maybe it's the expense of a long armor. I love people that long arm because they provide um, an exceptional experience for, for getting quilts finished, right, and making them just beautiful and gorgeous. But maybe that's not for you, right? Or maybe you think, well, I want to quilt it myself, but I'm not even sure, you know, the design I want to put it in it, so I'll stitch in the ditch. Yeah, that's great. I did that for many, many years. But if you want to be able to get the look of custom quilting or all over quilting on your quilts where you see the quilting on the front as well as the back of the quilt, you know what I'm talking about traditional quilting, but you want to do it on your embroidery machine because you have an embroidery machine, you can do it with 
Da, 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 da. Clear blue tiles, okay? We have a ton of tutorials out there on how to use them. Um, lots of video tutorials. You, We've got a whole video library that you can look out for clear blue tiles. Even before you purchase them, check out the library because I want you to see really, truly how easy it is. But here's the thing. I don't want you to take my word for it. I could sing the praises of clear blue tiles all day long. I could shout it from the rooftops all day long because I totally believe in it, all right? And I have seen what it has done uh, for getting my own projects to the finish line, but also yours. But don't just take my word for it. I'm gonna show you what people like you have been saying about clear blue tiles just in the last week or two on the Kimber Bellas and Phyllis Facebook page. So let's take a look at what they're saying and a look at their projects. These are so great. Kathy, she says she's working on her pillow today. Love those clear blue tiles. Okay, Kathy, I love that. I love that. And I think if I remember right, Kathy, you were going to be adding extra appliques to this, if I remember your post right. Um, but even if you were to just leave this as is without any extra appliques, wouldn't that make a darling table runner right there in and of itself? She used clear blue tiles to do it. Okay, this one from Bonnie, she says, thank you, Kim, for these wonderful clear blue tiles. First time to try them out and they are just amazing. She used the spring set. Okay, guys, in beautiful, by the way, and Bonnie, look at those flowers. Your table runner is perfect. But in the on the back of the box, you'll see that it also comes with these additional designs already included in there. And then if you want additional more, more uh, designs, you can download them, um, pick and choose what you would like over at camberbell.com. Let's see someone else who's been using clear blue tiles. Sandy says she purchased the clear blue tiles program and she loves it. So easy to use and they stitch out great. I made the small table runner included with the designs. Ooh, we're going to talk about that today, Sandy. But look at the texture on her table runner there. You did a beautiful job, Sandy. And this, my friends, is what I want to point out. Can you see where she stopped and ended um, uh, one line or began another line? Not really. It truly looks like all of her quilting. And it's because of the way these have been specially digitized to work with the clear blue tiles. It's awesome. And you can find these at quilt shops. Quilt shops want to be able to provide this for you. So many of them also provide classes and instruction for you. They want to see you feel successful, be successful, and of course, take those projects to the finish line. So find them at your favorite quilt shop. If you don't live near one, you know what I like to say. They're also online, so check them out. Let's see what else people are doing. Bobby says this is her latest quilting in the hoop using CBT. A lot of people have coined the phrase CBT now for clear blue tiles by Kimberbell. And Bobby, this is what I love. I love seeing that people are taking even panels, and this isn't a Kimberbell panel, um, but taking panels and quilting it. She used the candy corn quilting design that's included on here. Ooh, there we go. Um, to make that Halloween wall hanging. I absolutely love it. Bonnie says, I did it. <laughs> I've had CBT for quite a while and afraid to use them. Here is my first attempt. Not perfect, but I love it. And I love Kimberbell products. Bonnie. Okay. I don't know how you could say that's not perfect because in my eyes, it is looking dang good, woman. It looks so good and so professionally done. And she used clear blue tiles and Yet she was afraid because I think a lot of us can relate to that. How many of you out there were like, oh, I'm afraid to use it. I'm afraid to try. Give it a whirl. As I like to say, give it a whirl. See what you think because you're going to be amazed at how easy it truly is. Let's take another look. Karen says she used 
um, cotton candy and popsicles again. Yay! Uh, she loves all the Kimberbell designs and gets lots of use out of them. She can finish a lap size in a day. Karen, thank you for sharing that. Um, I don't know if you can see the quilting, you know, look real closely there, but there's cute little popsicles dancing all around with the quilt designs over there. Super cute. And I love how she's saying that she gets a lot of use out of them. I think some of us might think, well, maybe I'll use that design for one quilt. Oh, no. What you're doing is you're building yourself a library. And when you have a library of designs to choose from, it doesn't matter what project you're going to work on. You're going to go, hmm, let's take a look at that library. Do, 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 oh, that one would work great for this particular project, right? So think beyond just the project we recommend it with. Um, there's so many more things you can do. All right, Ruth, she says she loves, let's see, quilting the I Love Snow Me's. It's a 60 by 65 inch flannel quilt using CBT a size. She used the 8 by 14 swirls design and love how it's looking. And Ruth, I am loving how that's looking too. Will you please post a picture when it's all said and done and finished? I can't wait to see it. But those swirls, again, they're included whoop, on, in this box. Um, those swirls are perfect for a design such as this snow me uh, quilt. Great, great way to use them. All right, Julianne says, another lap quilt finished using this CBT. They are my best friend. I love that, Julianne, my best friend too. They've really saved me um, in a lot of instances to get things done and finished and quilted and feel really good about the end result too. Thank you for sharing that. I love that fish uh, quilt. Elaine says, it's her first time using CBT. See you guys? Even first timers are having success using clear blue tiles. Uh, Linda says she used her clear blue tiles uh, for the first time again this week on a 52 by 64 quilt. Uh, she says it's probably a little large for my inaugural attempt, but they were very user friendly. She had a few mistakes, she said, but all in all, she's very happy with the results and highly recommend them. She also had a question, and so she called our customer service team, and she said they were super helpful and prompt in responding. So yay for that, Linda. They do work really hard to get back to you as soon as possible. Um, and some days are they are kind of overloaded, but they do get back to you and are so helpful. And in this case, they helped you with clear blue tiles. I'm happy to hear that. And your, your cat's pretty darn cute, too, I will say. All right, let's take a look at a couple more. Jane, she says, when you find a completed backing on the share table, you know that it is covered, just the front, letting your imagination run wild. Um, she says, I, I can't thank you and your team for what you have done for her mind. It has taken me away from sadness and brought me more joy into my life. Jane, if I could like give you a big old virtual hug through the screen right now, I would. Thank you for that. It is amazing what um, creativity does for each of us, isn't it? And when it does, when it hits us and we're feeling good at our machines, we're, it can bring us out of some some sad times, you know, happy times, sad times, all of it. I love that she says Kimberbell, um, she used a dealer design for that. So yes, I, I'm noticing it was a dealer exclusive uh, for those sides of the table runner. Um, she used a Kimberbell charm pack in the middle with Kimberbell fabrics. She used the blue tiles, whoop, whoop. And Kimberbell, she says is priceless. Jane, mwah, you are so kind. Thank you so much for those words and here's an up close look at her design so that you can really see the texture that Claire Blue Tiles gave this particular design that Jane did. Thank you for sharing that. All right, here's another panel. Oh my gosh, it's a Winnie the Pooh panel. Are you kidding me? I want that. Peggy says this is her first quilt using Claire Blue Tiles and she loves how it came out. Guys, I'm telling you, it's not about me saying they're awesome because I can say that till I'm blue in the face. 
you guys are seeing it for yourselves and having great success with it. And that makes me so, so happy. And finally, this one, Tina, she hasn't used them yet, but I'm, I want to show you this because she made the house blocks for her CBT table runner. She got the houses made. Okay, how cute are those houses? Super cute, right? Let me tell you what she's talking about here. Tina, thank you for sharing that. I can't wait to see it all done because, again, this is the essential set. This has all the tiles, okay? When I'm talking tiles, this is what I'm talking about. You're going to have tiles in a whole lot of sizes ready for you. So no matter what size of hoop you have, you can have a tile that will work with it. And I'm going to show you, again, a little demonstration here in just a moment. But what she was mentioning was that she did the houses from here. So let me turn to the back. Um, there is a bonus project for these for some for a seasonal table runner. And what that includes in it is how to piece these cute little house blocks like she showed in that picture. And I'm going to show you here. This is an example of one of the table runners you can do. And this design is found exclusively in this box. Okay. So this is the little house block. There we go. That she pieced together. This is all pieced in the hoop. Okay. You never take it to a sewing machine, this block, right? Then she then another block that is um, available only on in clear blue tiles is the tree block. Again, piece in the hoop. You know, so what that is, that's flying geese, my friends. Flying geese that's been made into a little tree, okay? And then what she's going to do next is she's going to take that tree block and the house block and make a table runner all the instructions are in clear blue tile or in the clear blue tiles box but what we wanted you to do is give you a sample project that you could piece together and then quilt it with clear blue tiles so we call it a seasonal table runner because um, depending on the colors of fabrics you use it can be for any season and then if you decide on there's different um, background quilting designs that coordinate with the different seasons of the year. You can use that one to quilt it. So take a look at what we did here. We used, you see, it's like some snowflakes and some swirls. And we did an all over quilting in this area, in this center section. So it all has the snowflakes and swirls. And then what we did is we took a different tile that matched the a different tile that matched the borders. So for example, you would take something like this and you would place that on there and mark mark your tile and we give you all the instructions on how to do that. When you remove it, you'll know exactly where to place this on your hoop. And look, it did just the swirl design for the borders. Isn't that fun? All right. And then you could take like a little, what we call a bitty block, which is a two inch block. And we put it as the corner design and we added another snowflake. So there's lots of ways you can use this for either custom quilting or an all over quilting design. This is a table runner that I put out for winter. I'm done with winter. How about you, right? So I have out right now my spring version of it. See, you can make four table runners all with the same pattern, different quilting backgrounds, different fabrics, and now you got them for the whole year. So look at the same design, right? Or the same design for the table runner. But this is the spring one. And look how cute all those fabrics are in the pinks and greens and grays. So what we did here, let's see, let me make sure I've got this right. Yep. What we did here is we did the spring design that comes on um, uh, in the package. Okay. Oh, let's see if I can get better. Oh, there we go. Ooh, can't you see the texture yet there? Beautiful, right? With the florals. Okay. And then we did a different design. 
on the tree right here, we did a different design on the borders and even the little bitty blocks. Okay, so that was spring. So I'm going to have this up for uh, maybe another month because summer's around the corner and I'm going to put up this one. This is a little more bright and fun and very summery, right? Yellows and reds and oranges and yellows and navies. I love it. So here we took same, same table runner design, all in the essential set. But we used the bumblebees. Oh my gosh, look how cute those bumblebees are, right? Are, you, are your minds like going da, 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 like how you could use these background quilting designs? Oh my gosh, and look at the little bee in the corner. So fun, right? But wait, there's one more. <laughs> you could do one for the fall or for Halloween. I did Halloween, but if I did this again, I think I would do another fall one with more like burnt oranges and browns and tans. But this one I wanted for Halloween, so I did it in purples and oranges, blacks and whites. And as you can see there, this I did all over design. Like the whole thing is the same design and used the candy corn. That's so cute. Look at that candy corn. Are you kidding me? There you go. So there's no, with clear blue tiles, you don't have to line anything up. You don't have to match one at one end to another end. It just looks like it all flows and goes together. So, <laughs> I'm so excited. I want to share with you and actually have you guys hold me accountable, okay? Give me till the end of the month, okay? <laughs> Promise I will get working on this right away, but give me to the end of the month because if you've watched any of my videos about clear blue tiles, you know about the infamous, should I say? I shouldn't say infamous. It's just, it's the quilt that has never gotten done in 17 years. Okay. My baby boy is almost 18 actually now coming up in a few months and I made him this turtle quilt <laughs> do you notice something yeah it ain't done <laughs> can you guys relate to that you get you actually worked on something for so long and you thought you'd finish it and no do you see the seams they're not this ain't this is not i should not use ain't I was a fourth grade school teacher. This is not done. <laughs> this is not completed because I just, I don't know. Maybe I was a tired new mom. I don't know. I, I didn't know how to quilt it. I was kind of, it's kind of that, um, oh, analysis paralysis. If you guys can relate to that, right? Where you're, there's too many choices. You're not sure how to finish it. You're not sure if you should give it to a long armor. Maybe I don't have the, didn't have the money to give it to a long armor. I don't know all the reasons. I just know that it's not finished, right? So I'm going to use clear blue tiles finally to finish it because I cannot wait. Oh, Maurice. You're my friend. She says, let's see, where did you go, Maurice? She says, it took me 34 years to get my son's quilt finished. Okay, Maurice, thank you. <laughs> I'm not alone. I think a lot of us can relate. We just set it aside. I've got stacks of quilts that have to be done or pillow tops or table runners that are just like, I had fun, but now it's like, moving, moving on over, folks. I got something new to work on, right? And that's what's fun, but that's why we also have a lot of UFOs. So hold me to this, you guys. By the end of this month, let's see, what's today? May 11th, I think. Okay, I'm going to finish this in all my spare time, <laughs> which is not a lot, as we all can relate, right? But I'm just going to take it a little bit at a time, and I am going to get this quilted. So now here's where I have to figure out in my mind do I want to custom quilt it or do I want to do an all over quilting? Hmm, I'm not sure yet because look what I could do. I noticed this again, you guys, this is almost 18 years old. This block right here 
is an eight by eight inch finish. So what I could do is take the eight by eight inch tile and place it on that block and then mark it. And then when I go to put this on my embroidery machine, I take the tile away, I bring up the eight by eight design. Why do I bring up the eight by eight design? Because it told me so. <laughs> right there right so i'm going to bring up the design that matches uh the tile with the file name and that's the one i'm going to bring up and put that right there okay if i want to do the borders maybe a different um design in each one i could take like the two by four tile and look at that oh my goodness it fits right in there now this was serendipitous you guys because I realize not all blocks are going to fit perfectly with these scenes, but um, wow, 18 years ago in, in my little brain, I guess I thought about clear blue tiles and didn't know it. But look, I can fit that in there and do some custom quilting in there. Or maybe I want to take, this was a, like a 4 by 12 inch, and I maybe want to do a different design down the center. Wherever this tile lands, that's where your quilting goes, okay? And then when it's all said and done, because all of the digitized files are at the same, um, are at the same size, um, you're not going to be able to tell like, oh, she used a really small file or a big file or not file, hoop. She used a small hoop or a large hoop. It's just that they all work together and you never know where one area stopped and one area ended. Now, I showed you how to that I could do, you know, the different areas, but I may get to it and go, you know what? I just want an all over look. I could do that, too. I could start in the middle, place my tile there, mark it and then pull up the design and uh, be able to to quilt the whole Thing. Promise me y'all you're gonna hold me to this guys. Now I'm not doing a tutorial today, but I want you to look for the clear blue tile tutorials um, on our Kimberbell Designs YouTube channel. You can also find them at Kimberbell.com and maybe someone from Kimberbell can put in a link there, but it really comes down to three simple steps. It's so easy. Jump off the fence <laughs> with both feet, right? And try it out. The three simple steps. You place it. You literally place your tile where you want it to go, where you want the design to go. You mark it. There's a, a series of a few markings that you place put on there. And when you pull that tile away, you'll know exactly where to put it in your, in your hoop. And then you quilt it. You place it, you mark it, you quilt it, done. Place it, mark it, quilt it, done. It's really that easy, I promise you. So much fun. All right, um, try it out. So now, if you're thinking, all right, I'm intrigued. <laughs> Maybe not sold yet, but I'm intrigued enough to learn more. Please check it out on our Kimberbell YouTube channel or um, at Kimberbell.com and um, find a shop that is carrying these because they want to support you in getting your projects done. All right. And they can do that with the help of clear blue tiles. If you have larger hoops, um, then you may be interested in getting the expansion set, but this is an add on set. You definitely want this one. It's the essentials. And then you'll get the add-on to do the larger, um, if you have larger hoops. Okay? So there you go. It has everything you need in it to get started. Yeah, I'm so excited for you guys. So excited. So would you like to win? This is how you do it. Okay? Um, you know, we I, I showed you lots of pictures of from people that were saying this was my first time trying it or i wanted to get this quilt done or i you know they used it for every all kinds of projects right um so all you have to do is type in the comments either on youtube or our fa main facebook page and just say 
what project, what's your next project you want to finish with clear blue tiles? That's all there is to it. What is your next project that you want to finish with clear blue tiles? And somebody is going to win. Actually, four people are going to win clear blue tiles. Now, if you already have the essential set, then we'll send you the expansion set. If you already have the expansion set, then we're going to give you a gift card um, to the Kimberbell.com um, background quilting files. <laughs> I can't get my words out straight, guys. It, it, it's my sick brain going on. <laughs> You're going to win. Okay, here, let's start over. Rewind. Four of you are going to win. Either the, the essential set, if you've never used clear blue tiles, you're going to win the essential set. If you already have the essential set, you will win the expansion set. If you already have the expansion set, we will give you a $25 gift card to Kimberbell.com where you can also download mini background quilting files. How's that? <laughs> That's a little bit better as I get some water. All right. Sound good? So try it out. Try it out. Let us know how, how you like them. And four people will win. You have until Thursday, tomorrow night, Thursday night, um, to make your comment. And then Friday morning, like we like to do, we will, um, we will post the four winners Friday morning on our main Facebook page. All right. Okay. Whew. There we go. Um, boy, your comments are coming in fast. Let's see what you're saying. Um, Nancy says, my next project I would like to do and finish is a seasonal table runner with color blue tiles. I'm glad you like that, Nancy. That is a that is a fun project, and it's just a bonus uh, so that you get some extra practice um, with them for sure. Um, Gail says, my grandson's baseball quilt. I started when he was born. I need to finish it by the 17th. I know I can finish in time with CBTs. I'm determined. Gail, you and me, girl. We're right in there together. Let's get those things finished, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Um, let's see. <laughs> Mystery quilts. Let's see. Mystery quilts, Sylvia says, started years ago. But um, bought both sets last last month. Can't wait to try. Sylvia, does that mean that the package is still sealed? Let this be my plea to you to open the boxes and start working on them you're going to love them and you'll wonder why uh you know what you ever did without them right okay yeah marie says cbt clear blue tiles have been my go-to thank you marie i'm so glad you're loving them so glad alice says i i'd finish an old quilt started in 2011 I think a lot of us can relate to that for sure. Yes, do it, do it, do it. Patty says, I have a grandma's flower garden I started about 30 years ago. I want to get it quilted. Oh, Patty, there are some really pretty, pretty uh, designs that would be perfect for grandma's flower garden. Um, not only in this collection itself, um, but also... Um, on the Kimberbell website as a download. So check those out, okay? All right, of course, we always want to support our local quilt shops. So please find this Clear Blue Tiles at your favorite quilt shop, whether you're walking through their doors or visiting them online, um, check them out and they are happy to not only provide that product for you, but also the service behind it too and teaching you how to use them and being successful with them as well. All right. Many of them also have affiliate links. So if you they have an affiliate link to the Kimberbell um, background quilting store, then then, you know, go through their link and give them some credit as well. So check that out. All right. OK, as I close today, I want to share with you um, one la another uh, video on the Kimberbell stabilizer line. 
oh my gosh, the 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 snowball is getting bigger and bigger and bigger because more and more and more people are realizing how great the Kimberbell stabilizer line um, is for all of your machine embroidery projects. Um, this is something that we worked long and hard to get just the right stabilizers for your projects. And so um, we've provided a, a ton of video tutorials on how to use it, why you would use it, when you would use it, for what, and all that. And there's a whole lot more coming. But two weeks ago, I wanted to share uh, one of them on my top four tips to avoid puckering. And then the video didn't work. So I tested it out this morning. I think it's going to work. Let's check it out. Let's end. Uh, it's just about a minute long. But if you want four tips for preventing puckering, or I should say greatly reducing puckering, check this out. Let's take a look. You have stitched the most darling design, but when you've removed it from the hoop, there just may be those dreaded puckers all around it. Here are our top four tips to greatly reduce potential puckering around any machine embroidery design. Number one, lightly mist a spray starch alternative such as Best Press across your background fabric. Iron it to dry. Number two, with a warm iron, fuse a piece of Kimberbell's fusible backing to the wrong side of the fabric. This comes from our line of Kimberbell specialty stabilizers and is meant to be used in addition to your chosen stabilizer, such as a tearaway or a cutaway. This fusible backing is added before you start your project and it adds body to light and medium weight fabrics, yet it still keeps your fabric soft and supple, just like fabric should be. Number three. Choose a stabilizer weight that will handle more dense stitches. If your design has a medium to high stitch count, then a medium tearaway or cutaway will work well. To support stitch heavy designs, choose a heavy tearaway or cutaway stabilizer. And number four, hoop the fused fabric and chosen stabilizer together. If your machine has the capability of adding a basting box, do so around the inside perimeter of your hoop. If your fabric doesn't reach to the end of the hoop, you could always use Kimberbell's paper tape around the outside edges. You're now ready to stitch your design. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the before and after. You can certainly see the difference. Visit Kimberbell.com for more tips on Kimberbell's specialty line of stabilizers. All right. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for you to try it out. This is what it looks like when you're at your quilt shop and wondering what is she talking about? It's the Kimberbell fusible backing. It's in a green label. Of course, when you take off that label, it just looks like white stuff, right? So that's why we like the Kimberbell slap bands. Also labeled in green on this one. You just slap it around and you can keep your rolls nice and tidy. Check it out at your favorite quilt shop. Have a wonderful day, everyone. I will see you next week. Bye-bye.